Welcome, 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 welcome. I can't sleep. I can't. Well, <laughs> hold up. Not that I was ready for bed. All right. Well, I'm kind of ready for bed, but I'm like, I guess the word I'm looking for is restless. Okay. I'm a wee bit restless. So. Look at that. Look what was at the bottom of my deck. Look what was at the b- Oh, ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Are we dealing with somebody who's a little, uh, who likes things their way? Let's just leave this over here. Let's just leave this over here. <laughs> what deck do I want to use? I'm gonna use my dragons. I'm gonna use my dragons. And you know what I've been saying? We believe in magic. And I hope you do. Oh, you know what? I was gonna use my dragons. Maybe I'll use my dragons and these. I'll use those as well. Except, I don't know. Where my dragons. I don't know where my dragons went. I know they want to come out to play. I know they want to come out to play. I know they do. I know they do. Where are they? Where are they? I think they're over here. Let's see. Let's see if I can grab. No, I'm not even going to attempt to hurt myself. Because that's a thing. That's a thing. So, oh, here's one. Look at I told you they wanted to come out to play. I just knew it. I just knew it. <clears throat> Come on. You believe in magic, and I hope you do. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's let's use my my dragon first. Let's use the dragon first. Alrighty, two minutes in. <laughs> Don't you guys just love me? Hey guys, you know what's funny with the videos earlier? We were talking about the frogs, and I didn't even notice I have this a frog thing. My, uh, I'm not quite sure what it is. It was my nana's. Well, actually, it was my grandmother's. I think she made it. You know, so I don't know. It's probably like 50 years old. I love it. I just love it. And I didn't even pick up on it until afterwards, you know? cute. It's, it's cutie. So, let's, um, let's see what my, let's see what the dragons want to talk about. Did anybody else pick up on that? Huh? Huh? All right. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got the Page of Swords. This is somebody that is curious, okay? But they feel restricted. They're slowly going over their options, okay? Whomever this is for. There's somebody here, though, that can break the chains, that can break the conditioning. To me, this is saying nurture, and I know it's a seven of pence. It's not waiting. It's, it's, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, you would understand. Like, this is curiosity, okay? Somebody that can break the conditioning. Okay. 
and you it, it's like is someone going to choose to invest time into whomever this person is that's curious okay um let me look at the page of swords Do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. So we got the hangman with the hermit. This is somebody who's been in limbo for way too long. Okay, they've been screaming at this person. Um, which would make sense with the hermit right next to it. But I think they've been soul searching. They've been studying something. I don't know what they're studying. Maybe they're studying you, what you do for work, what you do for a living. I mean, they could be Googling you. They could be doing um, those checks online, credit score, credit checks, you know, just trying to find out a little more about you, okay? Um this person, especially with the Page of Swords being curious, I am talking this person's been in limbo for way too long. Way too long. Okay. Um, they're yelling. Like, let's let's go. Let's go, buddy. This is ridiculous. And the, ridiculous. I'm sorry. I try to say it normal for you guys. It didn't really work out for me. Um, and to me, this hermit is not, you know, supposed to be soul searching, but... This one's doing more than soul searching. This one's Googling your ass, okay? Why? Because you got somebody who's very curious to come in. Someone's someone's poking around, all right? But, but yet they still feel restricted, but they're not. They're doing it to themselves. They're putting themselves into limbo, okay? Um, tell me about the chains. <laughs> tell me about the chains. You know what movie just came to me? Um, gets kissed for the first time. She's allergic to bees. She dies at the end of the movie. The father is a, a mortician. Not a mortician. A phlebonic. Uh, uh, works with the dead. What movie is that? It was like their first kiss. I think it was Macaulay Culkin. It's like one of his first movie. I think I just said his name weird. Macaulay Culkin? That's why it is. Um, you guys are probably screaming at me. And I don't think it has anything to do with this. Unless what it's saying. Because that's the movie I thought of. And it's a classic. I know guys. I'm sorry. Somebody you're dealing with might be allergic to bees. It, I guarantee it doesn't. It's, it's related somehow. Okay. Um, or maybe it's because he was curious, you know, it's something like that. Tell me about the chains. This person is doing it themselves, but like I said, there's somebody here that can break that conditioning. Looks like it might be the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Cups. See, I told you, this is somebody that, that loves this person. Whether it's a lover, a parent, a friend, there's somebody here that can help somebody out go in a certain direction, whatever that direction may be, okay? Um, it's just like, it's the Ace of Cups, but it's like nurturing, okay? And the little green ones, okay? But like, again, you know, resting. Very protective, though. Um... So this person loves this person that's, that's apparently Googling somebody, okay? Tell me about the Seven of Pence. So I don't know who... It's almost like they both want to invest time in each other. Because this one's just staring like, what's the deal? What's the deal over here? You know, why Why you feel so hung up? Why, why you cyber stalking me like why you know like why are you doing that like you know I got love for you that's what that's saying you know tell me about the seven of pence <laughs> do 
Do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. There's the Emperor. But I love this card. Out of all my decks, this Emperor card is one of my favorites because. An emperor, we all know, you know, an emperor can own a business, you know, run a household, um, tends to be kind of stuck in their way sometimes, you know, but not always. They can be very loving too, but it is, they put their foot down, you know, forget about it. But the, what I love about this one is it's a family man. Like, he actually wants to nurture You know, so he's thinking about coming in, he or she, you know, look at the blue, it's the emperor. The emperor wants to protect the family, but yet still has not stepped in, okay? Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of pence working together, teamwork, with the two of wands making a decision, okay? Um, just trying to figure out where this person wants to invest the time. So again, you know, recap, you got somebody who's very curious, somebody that has kind of not broke conditioning, you know, but like I said, it was dual, you know, there's somebody here that can break that. And apparently this other person is the queen of cups that's got, that's got love, knows how to nurture, knows how to take care of, you know, the little, the little bambinos. But this person that's like stalking you, well, not in a creepy way, but they're, they're Googling your ass, okay? You got the hangman, just kind of been chilling, you know, probably ignoring phone calls, doing their own thing, but they're thinking about you, okay? They're thinking about where to invest that time, and, and to me, it, it looks like they want to, you know, they, they want to work together. It's just a because the two of wands is underneath. It's just a matter of how do we get here. So I don't know if if you know because the the knight of swords can be a messenger. Okay, um, I mean the page can be a messenger sometimes. So I don't know if this is already taking place or it's about to take place, or if it's just somebody's thoughts. Okay, but this person's been sitting sitting around just kind of checking you out, you know, sniffing your butt. I just pictured another cat sniffing another cat's butt. <laughs> this person's up your ass, cyber stalking your ass, okay? But yet, I don't think you guys have talked about this. I really don't, I don't see it. But they obviously see potential. They want to work together. You know, I'll clarify the emperor for you guys, but that's what that is. You want to find out what's, what's happening with the emperor, which is this person that's now curious. Okay. So let's find out what's this, what's this going on with this emperor? What's going on with this emperor that's sniffing, sniffing his way around? Oh, I freaking knew it. I felt it. Not showing their face. It's the five of cups. They're dwelling about something, you know? It's like, come on, what are you doing? Here's the deal, though. I think you guys were already connected. All right, because it's usually the three cups that are knocked over and the two are standing. So this person, you know this person. This person already, between the two of you, somewhere there was heartache. Whether it was this or the other person, whether you guys have a family, you have kids together, or you just have kids, you know? Because now they're looking at this connection like, son of a bitch. Okay? Because those two cups are spilled. So it's almost like somebody... 
you know, is kind of biting themselves in the ass type thing. You know, just kind of like, what did I do? See, the five of swords, like super, is it a lose-lose? That's why this person's just hanging around in limbo. That's why I said this person's probably not even answering your phone calls, like nothing. But the nice thing is, 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 is 10. All right, this person's coming to the homestead eventually. But um, it, it's just, that's very argumentative energy. But, you know, they see, they see the connection. They see the possibility. There's no question. Okay. So, that is what that is. There's somebody from the past thinking about you. But this is, this is good though. This isn't like. I, I still see potential here. You got the Ace of Cups, somebody who still knows how to love, somebody who's curious, soul searching. You captured some type of their heart. There's no way you didn't because the hermit reflects. Okay. And meanwhile, this five of cups, like I said, the two only those two cups are tipped. You know, so they know about this connection. They might be a little apprehensive because you might got a family. Maybe they're more business oriented. I'm not sure. All in due time, my little ducklings. All in due time. So let's use this other deck. And one of these cards was bent. This one. That was the one not in my deck. I knew they were calling for me for a reason. They're like, put me back in. And it was the hangman, too. I hung the hangman to dry. Sorry. Not sorry, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But that's that. So. Let's use this deck real quick. See what we get. Ooh. They're like, where you been? Where you been? <clears throat> I'm just, I'm just gonna, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay? I'm gonna leave that be, okay? Because, oh, I was like, where you been? And I'm not even gonna tell you where my head went. And then I was like, that's a little sticky. But right there, that wasn't, that wasn't too sticky. That was, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm just going to do that. I'm glad I made you guys chuckle. Okay. See? See Quartz Comedy? Quartz Hour. This Quartz Hour. Probably have to use it. It's a good month. Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? All right. What you got for us? What you got? I don't know. Something's rusty. I just started squeaking. I don't know if you guys heard that, but there's nothing around here that squeaks. And I straight up just heard a squeak before I started shuffling. So, we got the Knight of Wands. Here's the deal with this Knight of Wands, though. This Knight of Wands is tired being the Knight of Wands. To me, this person's feeling a little bit like a coward. They're just... That whoever this is, whether it's you or another person, just wants to slow down. As we were just talking about the Knight of Wands type of energy. You know, we got the Four of Wands now and now the Ten of Wands. I told you, the, the tie-in. All right, whoever this is, is home tired. All right, but not not putting too much action into nothing. Nobody's bed squeaking. All right, the only thing squeaking, and you know what's ironic? I heard a squeak, there's a mouse there. I, I don't know what that's all about. But the only thing squeaking is that mouse, okay? So they're at home tired. Do you believe in magic? 
and I hope you do. Temperance. I don't know if they need to heal, but it looks like two people need to heal. This also reminds me a lot of the Two of Cups, guys, and I've said it, and I, I don't know why I keep saying it, but it, it's truly about a connection that needs to be mended. Sometimes I can talk about a reconciliation, but to me, this is this is healing, nurturing energy, okay? This person, I don't feel like needs to be, I literally feel like I heard somebody say this person needs to be catered to. I don't see it that way, Okay. I just don't. <clears throat> the seven of wands. Guarded. Guarded. Tired. Somebody needs to heal. Six of wands. All right. Um, the nine of swords reversed. So... This person sleeping is getting a little better. All right, they're not as nervous. If they got to come to your home or you got to go there, they're not as nervous about the situation, okay? They, they feel like it can be a good scenario. I don't even want to use the word um, victorious because that's not what it's about. It's just, you know, being proud of yourself. This is, someone is accepting some type of change. So it's, it's a little bit of a reward. I mean, put a smile on your face, okay? Because you're not, you're not as worried. So you don't want to be that person anymore. Okay, good. All right. You need to take a little bit of a break. And if you're not doing everything, anything wrong and your life's going great, that's great. You still need to take a little bit of a break. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Wands. You got the Chariot and the Eight of Pents. You know, I, I feel like some of you are dealing with a Cancerian, okay, only because it's time to move forward. So considering it's cutting each other off, what this is telling me is that somebody wants to mend something. So if you guys are in a relationship, somebody wants to mend a family. I mean, it could have a lot to do with the previous read. I'm just reading it differently. It could, however, it resonates, okay? But this is moving forward. This horse is, I see purity. I also see exhaustion. You know, she's, or he is alert, but tired too. Um, and... You know, with the Ten of Wands, it's, it's, you're carrying a lot of weight, but you're tired, but you definitely are moving towards working together with somebody. And I'd say working on yourself, but this is too mutual to be just yourself. Okay. It's a Nine of Wands, so we got a messenger that's, you know, with the High Priestess. So to me... You know, you got a message to deliver to the high priestess. And it's the king of wands. You you don't know how to do it. You're so tired. This gentleman, well, I'm reading this king of wands and the knight of wands is masculine energy, guys. Okay. It's tired. They want to deliver a message. It's like they have the inner knowing. <laughs> you know. To the high priestess, it's either that or they're saying, you know, it's, it's time to use my intuition. And I think they are because it's upright, but tired, just thinking about you or whatever it is you're thinking about. You're just tired. You're not, you know, the king of wands usually takes action. There's no, use your intuition and get some rest, whomever this Knight of Wands is, you need to get some rest. You need to heal. Please be careful for your health. Tell me about temperance. Some of you might literally have a mouse in your house. It can literally be like a guide. Okay, so 
try to trap it very humanely, okay? You got the tower. So this is it's a sudden change, okay? But this also talks about justice coming in. It also it is like a message, okay, coming right at you. Oh, this other person. So let's see what this tower is about. So I don't know if they experienced this yet or together the two of you are going to experience this because somebody wants to come in and work together. And I can say that again because it, they're facing off, okay? Tell me about the tower. The tower, the tower. You could be dealing with a squat. I mean, it's the Ace of Wands. It's, it's a new start. It's a new start. And whatever it is, it's going to be solid. Okay, ten of pence. So, whomever this read is for, get some rest. If you're pitying yourself from past behaviors, don't. Because you're acknowledging them. Don't. Okay, rest. If you're just A-OK, -okay, but it's just really fast energy right now, because it is, it's still saying rest. They still want you to move forward, but something needs to be healed. You still need to rest, okay? So, there's that. I'm going to pull you one overall message, one, one overall card. And then I'm going to rest myself because this kind of just tucked me out. Guys, go back and see if you can hear that squeak. As soon as I put that card down, I had a mouse on. Um, I really heard a squeak. Like, squeak. Squeak it, squeak up. Squeak it, squeak up. I got nothing over here that squeaks. Okay. So, overall message. Overall message for my troops. <laughs> It's the Ten of Cups. Contentment. That's, that's huge. Okay. That's what you're about to reach. Endless possibilities. Contentment, guys. I mean, it's not even like the nine. I mean, you're about to, to, to reach the ten. Like, holy potential. Like, whoa. Like, holy bejesus. Is that even a thing? Like, whoa, you know? Like, whoa. What the hangman? It looks like someone needs to, someone changed their perspective. And if they haven't changed their perspective yet, they're about to. All right. Or it's saying, you want that ton of cups? You can have it. Change your perspective. There's that three. There's that one. Start a new journey. There's that ace of wands. That's the potential that that ace of wands holds. Okay? It's your mind, body, spirit. Change your perspective if you haven't yet. Stop jumping down the freaking rabbit hole. Okay? Stop being a trickster. Stop being a swindler for those who are being swindlers. Okay? Even she's tired. You're a little apprehensive, but it's all good. It's, it's, it's the Ten of Cups, ladies and gents. That's your Ace of Wands. That's what that's bringing you. Okay? Hold on, sweetie. So, I love you guys. Have a fantastic night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. What, sweetie? My anklet fell off. It's broken. Your anklet fell off. Got less and then like I pulled it. Yeah.